Hi, Sophie King Jong back again in the Kitchen of Dreams with yet another attempt of a stout review. The one I'm going to review just now is the Conor McGregor one, and it's the Forged Irish Stout 4.2 on the Richter scale. I was fast on Conor McGregor now, weren't I? I thought so. I wasn't waiting for it. 4.2 on the Richter scale. This is as rare as rocking horse shit. In Glasgow just now anyway. Anytime you order you try to order it from Mazda, it's always sold out. So let's get it sparked open. Nitro can. Connor, you need to get your act together, son. You need to get some uh, forced Irish stout glasses out there. So people can steal them. I mean uh, people can buy them. So anyway, here we have the culprit in the glass. Love the way these beers go, man. They're cascading. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. 4.2 on Richter scale. It's 0.1 stronger than a Guinness. Uh, it's got a lovely cascade going there. Look at that. It's actually, if you look at the bottom, it's actually coming up very, very quick. Very aggressively, it's turning darker. So anyway, because of my city, I put it into my city city glass, which is a dry gate. Uh, so Connor, come on, get the finger out, get the glasses out, so everyone can get a glass. Because uh, I dare say there's going to be a lot of converts uh, start drinking this. So anyway, look at that thing of beauty, still cascading up there nicely. In a while to sell. So let's go in for a wee nose. We'll go in for a wee nose. Lovely sort of strong coffee aroma. Chocolate. Strong coffee and chocolate. No dark malts. It's still, it's still cascading. So anyway, it's Sofa King drunk drinking ah, a forged Irish stout. 4.2 in a Richter scale. From Ireland. Is as rare as rocking horse shit in this city. In Glasgow anyway. Come on, Asda, get the finger out. Come on, Connor. Get in there and start brewing more of it so we can get more of it here. Slangy Va. Let's see what it's all about. Let's see what all the hype's all about. Lovely, creamy, lovely sort of like coffee, chocolate note gliding over the tongue. Unlike a Guinness, you have to compare it to Guinness, don't you? Unlike a Guinness, Guinness has got that sort of uh, vanilla note. This hasn't got that, but it's very, very... Very drinkable. It's got a nice body to it. Uh, nice, creamy, rich, really, really Rolls Royce cream attached to this. Uh, the coffee is quite strong uh, in it. It's very sort of like it's, it's got a, it's got a little thinness to it, but it's not in a bad way. This is really, really good stuff. Oh, look at that. Hold on a minute, I'll do that again. I've never seen that happening with a Guinness before. Well, it's not a Guinness, it's a forged Irish. So let's get the eyes on, see what it has to say for itself. So it's the forged Irish stout, FR. GD 
Dublin, Ireland. Dublin 12. I think that's for Connor from. And it's uh, the Nitro. I like the packaging. Pretty smart. I really like that. It's 4.2 now to scale. Really, really nice. Nice and creamy. Nice. It's actually, you could session your ass off of that. You've got him like that. I've got him like that. Actually, uh, I managed to acquire how many cans of it? 16 cans of it. And I've got 10 of them left. So I've drank a few off screen. So I knew what I was going in for uh, before I tried it. And it was really nice. And uh, this is smashable. There's been a few pretenders coming out for the Guinness throne. And you know what? I was I'm one of those kind of people if I was in a bar tonight and Forge and Guinness were on top, I'd probably go for that. I'd probably have a night on that. But I am a Guinness fan. I've been drinking Guinness now for I don't want to, I don't want to give my wage, <laughs> my age away here, but I've been drinking Guinness 30 plus years. We've been drinking it as a pop, and uh, I've been drinking it 30 plus years. It's one of those uh, Desert Island Discs, uh, remember the Desert Island Discs on the radio? Uh, it's one of those ones, like, what would you take if you only could drink one beer? It means it would be Guinness, it would be, but then they brought this along. Probably still be Guinness. Uh, this is really good. I've got to admit that. Really good. Uh, is it one I'm going to drink again? Yes, it is. If you can find it. Anytime you've got an Asda, it's sold out. I think you have to do what they used to do way back in the 1970s when it was a concert tickets. You have to queue outside. and Maybe I'll maybe start getting a sleeping bag and queue outside my local Asda. Uh, when it opens in the morning and just stand at the beer aisle to 10 o'clock in the morning to just see if I can get it. It's very hard to find up here. Uh, I think it's, the demand is so great that uh, they can't keep up with the demand and they've given it to Asda and Asda are, are UK wide and everybody wants to try it because of Conor McGregor. And you know what? It's a really good thing and uh <coughs> The guy, he's, what is it? His, his motto is, um, it didn't come here. I can't remember what is it. Something about, cut, I've came here to take over. And do you know what? That is a really good stout. A really good stout. That is probably on not quite shoulder length with Guinness. Guinness has been along for a long, long time. That is chapping at the door and all the Guinness uh, challengers so far. Conor McGregor. I salute you, my sir. I salute you, sir. And uh, maybe one day I'll get to your bar in Dublin 12. It's a fantastic bite. So anyway, what I'm going to give the Forged Diary Stout 4.2 narrator skill. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Trump rating of... I'm going to give that... I'm going to give that a 9.9 .9 out of 10. 9.9 out of 10, it's smashable, nice and light, nice and fluffy, a little bit heavier with the coffee, nice and creamy, all the way down the glass. I've got a few cans of this and I'm going to do a few things that I used to do with Guinness and see if it stands up to the same test. So anyway, it's a 9.9 .9 from So Freaking Drunk, so if you like the forge, you didn't like the forge, drop a line below and if not, So Freaking Drunk. We'll hopefully catch you in another stout review real soon. Slangy Valley, keep trying the good stouts out there. Ciao for now.